Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're looking at setting up our own personal cloud storage step by step on our own uh, ubuntu mini pc which we set up in our last video so let's open up our terminal here make this terminal a little bit bigger now this is great if you want to share files and stuff like that on your own uh, computer and this little mini pc is ideal for this sort of stuff so what we're going to do is uh, run this as our root so i'm going to do sudo su and uh put in our password and this just means we won't have to keep putting our password in every time we paste in our code now we'll be putting up the code on the screen i'll also leave all the code in the video description so we need to install our apache 2 http server so now we need to paste this code in here now we'll be pasting them you'll see them highlighted in yellow say yes to continue here there's a lot of code to copy and paste in and I will leave all that stuff in the video description for you so you don't have to type it out because it is a bit of a faff to type all this stuff out. As you can see this long code here needs to be set up so I'm just going to paste this in and you can see it all highlighted in yellow and then just push enter. Now next up these commands here will stop start and enable the service of the Apache a server so you can just uh, use these commands to stop uh, the service and just push enter you can see here this command would stop it the next command will start it so if you ever need to stop or start the service you can use these commands okay and this next one will enable the Apache 2 uh, service as well now we're going to install the MariaDB uh, server which is the database so let's go ahead and run these commands here. And this is a simple case of just uh, pasting these in. And again, uh, they will take a bit of time and I have sped this uh, process up so you will uh, see uh, the screen running up very quickly here. Now these commands uh, will stop, start and enable uh, the Maria database uh, service. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you these ones here. So you can see here, stop will uh, stop it by adding this command in. This one will start the Maria database service and you can enter that one. And next up, uh, this will enable it as well. Okay, so that's basically those commands there and you could use those uh, for stopping, start and enabling. This next command is gonna enter the MySQL secure installation. And now we don't need to enter a password, we can just push enter here. So just push enter on your keyboard. Now we need to push Y for yes. So just type in Y and then push enter. And then enter a password here for your uh, MySQL database. So just uh, put whatever password that you can remember. We'll use this password a little bit later on when we set up home cloud. Now we need to re-enter that password. So just put in the password that you just put in and then press Y for yes. and then press Y for yes again, and then Y for yes again, and just continue doing this. These are all Y for yeses, okay? Okay, so let's move on to the next bit. We're gonna restart our Maria database server. So just type in that command there, or paste it in. This will just restart the Maria database service, uh, and that's what we need to do. So just push uh, enter once you've uh, pasted that in, and then we can move on to installing the PHP and related modules on this next step. Now remember you can always pause the video so you can get all this down. So we're gonna paste this one in, this will install uh, software uh, properties. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And you'll see some text coming up on the screen. Now we can add the repository. And just push enter, here we go. And then once we've done that, that will start to pull that down and now we need to press enter on the keyboard you can see it highlighted in yellow so just push enter and it will then start to pull all that down okay now this does take a bit of time so be patient and once that's completed we can run an update so we'll just place this command in or we'll type it in and this will update everything we've done so far now we can do an upgrade so we just want to type that command in there and this will Give us our upgrade to make sure everything is updated and upgraded and then press y for yes to enter and there we go 
and this will take a bit of time because it needs to update everything that we've been doing okay now we've got this big massive uh, code here that we need to paste in this is all for our PHP so just go ahead and paste that in and you'll see a load of text flying up on the screen don't worry about that it does take a bit of time I've speeded that process up for you now we can edit the uh, PHP INI file and uh, this is what we need to do here you can see all these need to be changed uh, memory underscore limit equals 256 that's what it needs to be max upload file size equals 100 M which is 100 meg also display errors equals off and you can change these up under date and time zone so you need to uh, open up the search here by using the commands that are based on the bottom there so that will be your control and whatever letter you need i.e. Uh, control W and uh, other letters on there which you want to do so you can see control X to exit and so on and once you've done that you can see I'm editing these files here uh, on the screen and uh, changing the memory underscore limit and uh, we search for that file and now we're going to change it to 256 so just use your arrow keys to navigate across and we can then change these to the suitable file size uh, to what we need and also the suitable memory limit and stuff like that so just set this up how you want to and I'm just going to skip through these and do these so the time zone will be England and also from, well for me it's England yours may be America or Canada or wherever it is in the world you are and I'm just making mine England forward slash London and I'm just giving that a space now once you've set all these up how you want them I just hit control X to exit and it will ask to save that file and I've saved the file so let's go ahead and move on okay so let's move on to the next uh, step we're just going to type clear to clear the screen so we've got a nice clear screen to work with and now we can create our own cloud database so let's go ahead and do that so we're just going to paste this command in this is going to set up our MySQL uh, database now we need to put in the password on here so put in the password that we created earlier and then once you put the password in press enter now we can create the database and we're going to call this own cloud so create database own cloud and paste that in there like so of course you can change it to whatever you like but we're going to call it own cloud easier to find and now what we need to do here is create a user account so you can see own cloud user and also password here that is where you need to change so I've called mine uh, Brightech and also going to call this another password so you need to change password here for your password and own cloud user to the user that you want to use next you need to change again the password here and also whatever you need to do here which is own cloud user so once you've changed these two options you need to paste that in again here and this will grant it permissions okay so make sure you do that correctly so just change those up you can see the example on the screen that is the final code that I used and I've blurred my password out so you don't see it next up we need to flush the uh, privileges so we're going to paste that in there and then all we need to do here next is paste in the exit command we can type it out and then just push enter now we need to download the latest own cloud release so it's going to download 10.0.8 zip and if yours has changed because the download is changed you need to change that to the latest version in future videos later on down the line also unzip own cloud 10.0.8 zip now if yours is a later version uh, uh, following on in two years time you need to change that okay next up we need to move the own cloud to a new directory and we're going to do that with this command here and that will move it to this new directory now we need to change all the right privileges on here so I'm just going to go ahead and paste these commands in there's two of these we need to enter so just do these ones there we go and then just paste that in and then push enter so that's those done now we're coming uh, to the end here we need to configure our Apache 2 now so let's go ahead and do this so we need to paste in uh, this command and this will allow us to configure it so first off I'm going to type clear to clear the screen and then we can paste this command in 
and this will allow us to open up this uh, config so we can now change it now I'm going to paste up an example here you can make changes to this script here that we can use and you can see here uh, the highlighted areas which I've highlighted these need to be changed to your needs okay and once you've changed those you can then paste that into here I've highlighted it all yellow you can see I've made changes and now we can paste this in and uh, we can push it control X and then we can save that file and then this will back us out of here now we need to enable own cloud and rewrite module so these commands here need to be done one at a time so just paste those in one at a time and then just press enter so that's all you need to do here is just paste these in so I've speeded this process up a little bit so you can uh, see but you can pause the screen and uh, see what I've done there so each one of those commands need to be pasted in now it's took a long time to create this video because obviously there's a lot of edits and uh, I needed to highlight everything and show you exactly what we needed to do here so now we need to restart the Apache 2 uh, service so we'll go ahead and paste that command in now we need to access the own cloud from the LAN so what we're going to need to do is get our IP address and I'll show you how to do that so we need to type in here if config and this will give us our IP address which we now know the IP and we could type in there in the browser just like so and I've entered this in with my IP address and own cloud forward slash own cloud and this will give us our own cloud as you can see here now so now we need to put in all our details which we've just created in this video so I hope you appreciate all the time and effort it does take a long time to create this type of content because obviously there's a lot of edits so just put in all your details uh, that we just created. So I hope you've been jotting them down and now we can log into our own cloud with our username and password which we created earlier on in the tutorial and uh, we can now log in. So allow this to log in and there we go. And that's how you can set up your own cloud. Now to access this externally from an outside source you would need to do some other settings and that will be done in another video uh, but basically you need to set up your own uh, SSL and also certificate and stuff like that and I've covered that in other videos on different topics but it's the same sort of principle you can see we're logged in here and uh, this will be basically for your own local area uh, network which is what you can access it from but if you do want to access this from say another country or outside of your network then you will need to make changes in your router and set up a certificate so it's secure and stuff like that and I can cover that in another video if you want to see that let me know in the comments section below if you're interested in seeing that if not then I won't bother but if you do want to see that then let me know in the comments section but basically that's it you've got all your own data stored on your own cloud server which is that little mini PC pretty awesome and uh, you can share it anyway I think I'm going to wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos Thank <laughs> you.